Well, hello there everyone, this is I am Mark III, and welcome back to the misadventures of the worst Imperial Navy commander in the entire Gothic sector, as I will continue to call this series, even if I do win every once in a while. <laughs> it's the end of turn 9 right now, and the Orcs are actually getting to be quite a bit of a threat because I keep losing to them, but yeah, that's, that's a problem. Still, there's not actually a deployment left this time around, so we're going straight into the end turn and see what the new turn brings to us. So, here we go. Admiral, I have transferred the Eye of Night to my vessel. Oh, no. And we are preparing to depart from Orn's world. Your orders are to escort my ship out of the system and defend us against any remaining Chaos forces. I have set a course near the system's primary star in order to mask our ships from the enemy. The relic must not fall into enemy hands. If Abaddon reclaims the Eye of Night, he will carry out his vile scheme and the Sector will pay the price. So basically, don't screw up again is what I got from that. Okay, last time we got a relic, he was sitting around in his battleship, it got its engines blown up, and then the Chaos Fleet that came after it blew it up despite my best efforts. So, I just hope this is not another static defend the ship situation, because I'm probably going to fail it again. I don't have enough stuff to do that. Though I can get a second cruiser. Hmm. Very, very tempting. Oh, my spare light cruiser has actually leveled up, so let's actually give this something. What have you got? You've got lancers and macro cannons. And you are fitted with taunt. I didn't actually put taunt to much use in the previous fight, so... Hmm. Let's improve the master gunners for that. Can I afford this plus... No. Yeah, I'll just grab another cruiser. What should I go for? That's the question, though. Ordnance launch bays, macro batteries, lance batteries, macros, macro and plasma, macro lance and macro, and heavy torpedoes. Ugh. I don't like having the torpedoes, I really don't. But the Nova Cannon, when I tried to use the Dominator, was just so bad. I hit twice, I think, out of all the times I fired it. So, yeah. I really want a unified system, because then I can get more out of my upgrade as well. But, um, hmm. Okay, what have I been fitting you out as? I fitted you out with refined lenses and a, a better RAM. I think I'm just going to go for another flipping uh, gothic cruiser, actually, because I'm at, a, I'm at a loss, really, what else to do with it. Unless I wanted to bring along some ordnance launch bays, but... Uh, Hmm. I don't really. Not really. Actually, it'd probably be a good idea to have a, a flipping carrier specialised ship, so let's see. Yeah, it's this one. So let's take a dictator into this, shall we, and see what I can do with this thing. It's... I'm going to specialise this thing on... new. Hello there, Prowl Ram. Okay, I can use you like I've been using my gothic. <laughs> sort of. Oh yeah, okay, that's gonna be nice. Skills, skills. Can I afford to give you any skills? I can give you one skill, fine. Okay. Let us give you, actually, because I've been completely lacking this so far, a probe. Yeah, let's give you a probe. So that I can actually use you to actually scout and give your fighters a better target. You know, sounds like a good idea. And maybe it'll actually help. You never know. Stranger things have happened. But anyway, let's go off and save this um, this pansy inquisitor's ass and My hope not fail. My ship is ready to depart. Many chaos ships have been sighted through the system. Yep. The star's solar activity is particularly high and Orgar arrays are picking up huge solar eruptions near the sun's corona. We must keep the artifact secure lest Abaddon gain a crucial advantage in the war. Protect the Inquisitor ship while it's preparing to escape, so... 
hopefully it'll be moving around, but if it's sitting still, just charging its warp drives, I am in so much trouble. It's it's not going to be funny how much trouble I'll be in if I come across something like that. We've got 300 points, though. Dangerous solar eruption rose the hulls of any ships not protected by shields. Oh, okay. Fine. Bringing my gothic in, of course. Um, I've got 158 points, so I can afford to bring one more capital ship. I might as well bring in the honour of Brig... Uh, Bri Bri Brigia. The honour of Brigia. Okay, I've got a pair of cruisers. We're near to the escape point. Those asteroid fields are a good place for chaos ships to lie in ambush. We should be cautious. I have calculated the best course to get through the system. Admiral, stay near my ship. Well, you've got your battleship again. Uh, though that, I'm pretty sure that got blown up last time, but unlike in actual law, it seems that things actually get repaired fairly easily <laughs> in this. So I'm just going to set my autos on auto repair, auto boarding. The solar flares are more powerful than we anticipated. We must keep up our shields to avoid suffering damage. We should move quickly to get through this hazardous region, Inquisitor. We should be careful in this region. Keep in mind that there are still Chaos ships somewhere nearby. So he's Ship not only ready. is um is he it's doing an this? Ambush. Oh yeah, he ain't Give us the artifact and we'll spare your lives. The only thing I will give you is a swift death, heretic. All ships, engage the enemy and defend the Inquisitor's vessel. I'm just going to try and take some long-range torpedo pot shots, really. Awaiting orders. Yes, Admiral. Setting course. I, I don't. I don't like how. Um, sure, it's an escort mission, and, but he just charged out right in front. So yeah. Your orders. My, my target's actually going to be that light cruiser, and I'm going to try and shred its ordnance launch base. Okay. At your command. Where are my bombers? Launch your bombers, thank you. Yes, Admiral. Yep. Okay. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Oh wait, 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 wait. What was that? A, a cruiser. Right. Okay. Let's cripple its engines then. Go for attack option two. That thing is. Ah, you've lost your engines. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Let's see what you make of this then, Sunshine. Your orders? Yeah, knock knock. Oh that, that didn't actually do much for with it. I'm I'm right in the middle of their ships, but Horst is just charging. Course plotted. There must be another enemy battle group nearby. We should so, stay vigilant for any signs of a disturbance. So, there's an enemy battle group, so you're going to charge off and deal the with them, aren't you? Waypoint. Stay close, Spire. As you command, Inquisitor. We should move quickly. This could very well be a trap set by Abaddon. Agreed. Chaos ships could easily have set up ambushes throughout this asteroid field. Oh, ouch! Broadsided by torpedoes. Fine. Any longer than we have to. So. Yeah, he, he's just charging off ahead, ignoring all this, so I have to try and keep up with yes, him, Admiral. which is great. Let's actually jump to a halt here do that. Uh, plasma bomb. Underway. Come on, you can, you can kill this guy. Changing oh yeah, that's, that's doing great. Heavy damage. Haha. <laughs> and that thing is still very <laughs> much on fire. Um, Abaddon may be doing... Being a That's dumbass and charging on. off. Why, wait, why am I calling Horst Abaddon? Um, acknowledged. I hope he's not Abaddon. That would be a bit We're of a halfway problem. through the asteroid field. Hey, I was trying to line up a torpedo shot. Don't, don't jerk ships. things away from me. More enemy ships have been detected. Battle stations. Ha! Ah. This asteroid field will be your graveyard. Imperials die. We're under attack from both sides. Oh, All great! Ships. Really? Take up defensive on. positions around the Inquisitor's ship. Ooh, Two that's a load of strike craft, isn't it? Hmm. I have to defeat them both. We're taking damage. May I remind you, Admiral, 
We must get the artifact out of here. Ship ready. Underway. Well, hopefully that'll do something about the ships ahead. But I've still got this these ships in front of me that need some serious um, serious doing to. I've got to try and keep up Your with my orders. flipping thing. So yeah, hmm. not sure what I'm going to do with some of this stuff. I've got I've still got the entire fleet yes, behind me, which I'm starting to pick apart with my lancers. But Understood. oh, I've got an idea. Turn around. <laughs> this is going to be good. Brace, Brace for impact body. and. Turn and full power to the engines. Hello, boys. Nice to meet you. Integrity is failing. Several decks are depressurized. The artifact's containment vault is still secure for now. Ha! We have to get out okay, of Okay, that looks fun. Now. Okay, where's my other ship? Still doing its best to try and stop Damage things. Teams begin repairs now. But yeah. Come on, I'm... Uh, splitting was a bad idea. Full power to engines. Yet, Pay attention to any strange signals your auger arrays pick up. We still have to reach the exit of this labyrinth. Meaning you've got a third flipping on. waypoint to go to. Great. Cruising speed set. All ahead full. Ah. Come on, I can, I can do this. Keep going, Engines keep going. Out of the way, you tiny Sitting chaos board. scum. Oh, that looked painful. <laughs> oh, your, your gauges have run out. Done it. Okay. Hot. Problem is, he's taking a ton of fire from these enemy ships, and I don't have much that can do much about it. Underway. I think I'm going to lose this. Your orders. Okay, there's not much choice here. I've got to turn my main ship around and get Changing ahead of them. Course. Like that. If horse survives ship that long. Ready. Oh yes, okay. I've forced their cruiser out of the fight. Excellent. That leaves just all the escort ships now there uh, doing things. Must face oh, a true geez. champion of the dark gods. I Can I not and say I did? Defeat these traitors quickly, Spire. We cannot afford to be trapped here. My You're going to die before apart. I can get you out of here. You know that, We right? have to reach the escape point. This is our only chance. All ships, defend the Inquisitor's vessel. I know, but he's going to die before I can get to him. All ahead, full. Oh, we're using the MP. That's we're good. We Gages are up. The escape point. Full power. This is Come chance. on. All ships, defend the Inquisitor's vessel. The artifact's containment fault has been blown apart. Bugger. We've lost the Eye of Night. <coughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Two cruisers. Bad choice for that particular mission. Just wasn't enough. Sure, I battered, I battered away um, most of the enemies, but then I got kind of defeated. So, yes. Uh. I actually did surprisingly well there. I thought I'd lose a bit faster than that. But I've lost the artifact. So, yeah. That's not so good. At all. The Eye of Night has fallen into the clutches of Abaddon the Despoiler. The relic and all its dark secrets belong to the enemy. And with that, I feel the Gothic Sector tremble. I fear that Abaddon's victory here seals defeat for the Imperial Navy. I would the not Emperor be surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, he does not. <sighs> the Chaos Invasion forces now possess the Eye of Night. With this artifact, Abaddon is more dangerous than ever. Perhaps it is not too late. I can organize a battle group to retrieve it. My agents have lost track of the relic. It may already be in Abaddon's hands. Even worse, 
The enemy knew exactly where to place a trap for our fleet. Such precision requires inside information. Battlefleet Gothic has been infiltrated by spies and informers. It is time to begin a great purge of these traitors. You lost the Eye of Night. You may regret it. Um, yeah, no kidding. Right. <sighs> okay. I did it all right in that, but then I got overrun towards the end there because my ships were not sticking with the Inquisitor. They could have acted as meat shields at the very least. I think that was probably have been um, the only way I could have got through it, in all honesty. So, yeah, that sucks. Inside information, traitors... I believe that um, Captain What's-His-Name from the previous mission is actually a traitor because of just how he was acting and how dismissive he was and all that. So, let's see. Reduce cooldown on the fighters. Yep. Do I want to give it another skill? Probably be a good idea if I did. Yeah, let's give this thing a... Um, hmm, actually, what should I give it? Micro warp jump, yeah, let's give it that. And I'm also going to upgrade its squadron sergeant so that its fighters are a bit more effective. And focus this entire thing on, you know, getting that thing better. Now what should I give this guy? What should I give this guy actually? He's a taunter, so that's Okay, he's fitted for taunting, so let's give him extra shields. So he can survive damage a bit better. And yeah, that's it for my upgrades with what renown I had. But I lost, and that is the sad truth of the matter. Another sad truth is that that is actually all the time I've got left for this particular video as well. So there's not enough time for me to actually go in and go in and actually do another mission, despite how nasty all the orcs are getting and the Eldar are being a pain and all that. It's going to have to wait for the next grand episode of how not to play Battlefleet Gothic on maximum difficulty. <laughs> because, yeah, that is truly what this is. Examples of how not to do it. <laughs> this is I am Mark III. Thanks for watching. I hope that you were betting on the heretics because they seem to be winning right now. The Emperor will never protect me because I'm just failing so badly. And all that out of the way, I'll see you some other time. Catch you later.